So guys, welcome to your 17th tutorial in JavaScript. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be talking to you guys about objects, which is a very important part of a lot of programming languages, and especially JavaScript. Now, if you've never worked with objects before, I'm going to give you guys a quick introduction. And uh, JavaScript is one of the many languages that you can actually build your own objects. Now, what an object is, we'll kind of learn as we're we're going along but um objects have two main components to them and those are properties and methods and properties are any value of the object so let me go ahead and begin showing you guys what this means just type a variable and we'll name it word let me move my cursor out of the way so you can see and uh... it's actually going to be two words and i'm going to type hello bob and just as, this is just a common string variable and in the next I'm gonna write document write and I'm gonna have a property that shows us what the length of the object is or the variable so to do that I'm gonna type word since that was our variable and this is just a built-in feature of JavaScript and then I'm going to type length. And as you can see, when I do this, we have our variable word right here. And we want to tell JavaScript, take the variable word and write, which just means I'll put it on the screen, how many sh uh, characters are it, it is. So let's save it, refresh. And as you can see, it says 9. So let's go back to here and as you can see one, two, three, four, five, and the space counts as one, six, seven, eight, nine. So that's why JavaScript does that. And this is an example of a property of an object. One of the properties is length, and this is just built in. But let's say well let's learn about methods now. And method is an action that you can do to an object this case being the variable word so let's say instead of length get rid of that we want to do a method we want to change this somehow what we would do is after the period in word let's write two upper case and add an empty parameter and uh, I'll tell you about that later but for now we're just gonna leave it empty and what this is going to say is tell JavaScript right on the screen the variable word which has the value hello Bob and change it to uppercase. So we're, let's save this and refresh it. And as you can see, it changed hello Bob to uppercase. And this is an example of a method of JavaScript. And remember, just to recap real quick, properties give you the value as in the length which was 9 and method which we just made right here changes this in somehow and we just changed it to uppercase and there are many many built-in features of JavaScript and uh, we can even make our own which we'll be learning soon but study this tutorial know the difference between properties and methods and please go to my website autolandchat.com and I'll put a link on the right hand side and it'll help me out a bunch if you sign up and register. Thanks for watching.